All right, all right. So today for Cultural Awareness Podcast, I decided to make a little short video in my car, right? Because, you know, hey, I'm, I'm on the road, so I'm like, hey, why not make a short video and post it and see who we attract or see who sees it, right? So uh, one thing a lot of people have been talking about it on social media lately is about, like, women wanting to be with a high value man right and i was like what is a high value man you know high value men make uh from my research is high value men have to make over like i believe it's like over uh a certain amount of money don't quote me if i'm wrong let's google that around like 500k a year in the u.s in america those are considered high value men right so i was like well Let's go back a little bit when we were kids or when we were like in school or, you know, uh, when we were in school, girls were always attracted to who? They were attracted to most of the guys that are, oh, sorry about that. So they were attracted mostly to guys that were a little bit jerk, like, you know, the bad attitude, the, the bad guy, you know what I mean? The guy that's a little bit reckless and things like that. So in the meantime, while those guys were doing that, you had some of these guys that were pretty smart, slick, glasses, and all the, you know, we call them nerd or whatever. So they were working their ass off or whatever. And now society make a switch, right? These guys that girls never look at become high value men. In the meantime, your vagina got destroyed by the guys that you thought were the bad guys, you know, they are like, oh, I, I want my man to have a little bit of edge on him or whatever, you know, that's what ladies were saying. So now, fast forward, these guys ain't shit. <laughs> I mean, not all of them, but some of these guys ain't shit, and now you want a high value man. So you are forced to turn back to this nerdy guy that has it going on. He's the one with the Lamborghini, is the one that made all his study he took time to you know work on himself and sharpen himself dress well dress nice because don't 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 uh you know don't take it for granted because uh they learn how to talk finally you know they learn because in business you have to talk in conferences so these people go and put themselves in like communication uh, classes to learn how to communicate with people and so now he's sharp he got the nice suit on these watches you know they they have rolexes and things like that and now you are like why am i not getting a high value man well it's because of your choices you have been making so many times the wrong choices of going out with all these guys that are you know you say they were you know uh how can you say it? they were beasts in the shit, right so and now a high value man most of the time are not going to be base in the shit like you think you know what i mean he's yeah he's gonna give you his best or whatever but it's not gonna be like the dude you always will realize the dude with like the <laughs> i don't want to say but the, most of the time the dude that you have been getting your back that have been breaking your back yes they don't have the money that's why they have been breaking your back for free and now you want to after somebody has destroyed it to come here and find a high value man how because now the high value man is looking for something better and younger than you right because now you are in like your 30s you may be having i don't know one one child let's say let's be conservative one child you think that high value guy is going to look for that maybe but most of the time no he's going to want something younger something fresher because he's going don't forget men start really playing in their life as they're getting older right 40 50 is like okay i got money now because the whole purpose of a man when he's younger is to become wealthy wealthy whenever a man is wealthy he attract a lot of female he doesn't have to do it on purpose the way he carry himself is just different the way he talk is just different without even realizing he have worked on himself so much that now all these mature women by mature i mean like now they are in their 30 they are mature they are conscious now oh this is the type of guy i want but he don't want you because when you had a chance when you were fresh every flower has a period of 
you know the, of life right you you the flower is going to be shiny and good and then at some point it's going to go away it's going to start you know going down just like the flower start going down you know so now you have gave all your best to somebody else so why will somebody else that now has money all this power will want to take that like no he will want something that is fresher younger that he can handle so i was like well maybe not every high value man is like that so what if you find yourself now dating a high value man i have to be straight up with you you need to know one thing about a high, a high value man number one is there's going to be competition whether you like it or not you want that man there's a whole lot you're gonna to have to put up with women will come at him and he will have choices he has variety and you're gonna to have to let some of them slide if not you are put to the side and one of those girls that is going to come in will come in knowing that she also got some competition so my point is if you are with a high value man and you guys didn't build that well together trust me there's some competition number two well you ain't gonna be the only one that's for sure a high value man because he has choices is gonna have to he will have some side pieces on the side and you will put up with it you will catch him multiple times but if you like all your bills being paid and everything taken care of well you, you're gonna let it slide you ain't got a choice you will let it slide you might say oh blah 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 and guess what he got his print up in place he don't give a shit he you will let it slide whether you like it or not the high value man is going to step out on you why because he got choices i never seen like a lot of men that say oh uh, i can't believe this man cheated on his wife yeah you bet you can't believe it because you haven't you haven't had anything going on in your life when you are like the arnold schwarzenegger when you are like the i don't know will smith tiger wood and things like that high value man let me tell you it's a lot a lot a lot harder for him to fight those norwegian girls coming after him that's for sure because they will come with those pretty ass sexy body no freaking surgery on it trust me it's a lot harder for a man and it's gonna be a lot harder for him to fight that off so just know there's competition and you won't be the only one number three don't look for anything and you won't find anything if you go out there trying to look at his phone like who is he talking to man they say that if a man's phone is like onions right you start peeling onions nobody beat you but somehow you start crying alone same thing with a man's phone you start going through those messages he ain't did nothing he's not beating you but as the more you look, go through those messages tears just start falling down your eyes so you better be aware of it because nobody sent you to look after it my point is if you want a high value man you need to know that there's a whole lot of things that come with that right you need to know that from time to time he's going to <laughs> he's going to confuse his bed right he's going to have another bed outside there where you ain't part of it where you ain't sleeping in it he's going to come home sometimes late i mean there are some men that even though they are high value and they are stepping out on their spouses like they are at least respectful in a way that they try their best to make sure she doesn't find out but if you try to look for it well you're gonna find out like no like my point is if you're going out with a high value man there are a lot that you need to put up with and the big and most important part of going out with a high value man is looking the part if you want a fit athletic high value man you yourself must be going to the gym you can't be out here be like i want to do with a six pack and whatever and then you yourself you don't look like someone with a six pack so no that doesn't work together you know people that live uh that attract how do they say people that live together attract each other or something like that or people that attract each other uh you know that move together you usually think like and you know they see in the same direction that like you have to be if you want a gym guy well you have to be going to the gym because where do you find that person at the gym he's working out there and then when you come through you're looking fit then you got maybe a match and things like that so my point is make sure that whenever you are asking for something that you yourself are looking the part you cannot be 
Okay, I'm not trying to insult anybody, but you cannot be looking a certain type of way and wanting something else. Like, no, it doesn't work together. I'm not working out, you know, for both of us. I'm working out for me, so you can work out and take care of your body. And number two is, sport is actually something, oh, working out is something that is actually benefiting you. Number one, you feel good about yourself. Number two, like the clothing that you have choices in life and things like that to do. Number three is, you are healthy. The most important part is you are healthy. I'm not saying that everybody that does sport is uh, healthy, but the majority of the time, through science, you are healthy. So if you are looking for something, make sure you attract that thing, okay? And it's, you have to bring something to the table. You cannot, like, you should ask yourself a question whenever you say, I want a high value man. Because I have asked this to a girl before. She said, I want a high value man. And I said, what are you bringing to the table? She said, my energy. And I told her, energy don't pay bills. Energy have never paid bills for anybody. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, we like your energy or whatever, but trust me. I, you, a high value man that has that kind of money, a whole lot of money. You say you got... Uh, a vagina well he can pay for a hooker every night too and he can have strippers that will do a better job than you so nope that doesn't keep you say I can clean the house or whatever well I can find a maid that doesn't cut it right oh are you going to talk about oh you can put the best sex on him trust me there are a whole lot of young girls out there them 20 years old that will give him that have more experience that are willing to do the extreme to be with that guy. Are you willing to do it? So what exactly are you going to be bringing to the table? You need to ask yourself that question. I'm not saying that everything come back to finance, but hey, money makes the world goes round. So if that is the case, what are you yourself bringing to the table? And number three is, I heard women say, oh, I will go ahead and get my own money. Then you will not be doing what the traditional woman will be, will be doing. So why would he want to be with you? Have you ever also realized that a lot of wealthy women don't want to be with broke guys? Because they don't have nothing in common. And a lot of wealthy guys don't want to necessarily be with a rich and wealthy woman because most of the time they still want to be the man in the house because how is it going to look like if you tell your wife like hey this is direction we are uh, this is the direction i think we are supposed to go to and this i'm putting my foot down this is where we are going and she's going to be like i got money to no i'm going that way it's not going to work at least most of the time not all of it so exactly you know you need to find yourself that you might not be wealthy but you but you have to be in the middle class right and then you have something going on for yourself. Then it attract a man because, like, oh, I can take her to the top or something like that. You see what I'm saying? So before you ask for high value men, ask yourself that question. What exactly will I be bringing to the table to that high value man? Once you figure that out, you will get a high value man. In the meantime, this is Cultural Awareness Podcast, man. And... I know I'm not really accustomed to doing video. I'm usually doing audio, but hey, today I had to just come out and put it out there, man. If you are going out with a high value man, know that you are not the only one because there are high chances that, you know, there are at least two and three out there. And that, in Africa, they say the most faithful man is the one that has at least one other wife out there. So keep it blessed, man. Peace. And I hope you enjoyed the podcast. And please, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and like the video and uh, leave your story and I will post your story on, on my podcast or you know just please man subscribe to the channel man support your boy and please don't hate out there because I'm not out here hating on women or anything like that I'm just speaking facts right so no hard feelings thank you and God bless always peace